These are the declarations for spiritual offense. I put on the full armor of God, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shoes of peace, the shield of faith, and the sword of the Spirit. The Lord sends the hornet ahead of me, driving out my enemies. There is nothing hidden that will not be disclosed and nothing concealed that will not be made known. I will tread upon lions and cobras and trample the great lion, the dragon, and the serpent. God will crush Satan under my feet. If God is for me, who can be against me? The mountains melt like wax before the Lord. In the Lord's arsenal is the arrow of victory. I will first bind up the strong man and then plunder his house. These are the declarations for spiritual defense. Perfect love drives out fear. God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? No weapon formed against me will prosper, and every tongue that accuses me will be refuted. I will submit myself to God. I will resist the devil and he will flee from me. Those troubled by evil spirits were cured. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are saved. O oh Lord, arise to my defense. Contend for me my God and Lord. Three minute mark. These declarations are for blessing and personal needs. The Lord will set me high above the other nations. I will be blessed in the city, blessed in the country. The fruit of my womb will be blessed. My crops and cattle will be blessed. My basket, barns, and trough will be blessed. I will be blessed going in and blessed going out. I will lend to many and borrow from none. My enemies will be defeated before me. The Lord will grant me abundant prosperity. He will open the heavens and bless all the works of my hands. I will always be the top and never the bottom. God shows his love for a thousand generations to those who love and obey him. God rewards those who earnestly seek him. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. God fills us with good things. Seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be given unto me. I will first seek His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be given unto me. A generous man will prosper. He who refreshes others will himself be refreshed. I am like a tree planted by the streams, yielding my fruit in season. My leaf does not wither. Whatever I do prospers. Those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. 
These declarations are for health. You are the God, my healer. Do not fear. Don't be dismayed. For God is with you. He will strengthen you and help you. He will uphold you with his righteous right hand. By Jesus' stripes, I am healed. This is the Six Minute Marker. In the way of righteousness, there is life and no death. God's words are life and healing to my whole body. I will live and not die and will declare what God has done. The children of God go from strength to strength till each appears before God in Zion. I cried out to God and you healed me. The spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is now living in me and will give life to my mortal body. Declarations for Wisdom and Understanding I have the mind of Christ. Even the deepest secrets of the enemy are revealed to the Lord's people. May the word of Christ dwell in me richly. God gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. I ask God for wisdom and he gives it to me generously. Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. The knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of God has been given to me. God reveals great mysteries to the little children. I will get wisdom. I will get understanding. God's law is perfect. It revives my soul. His statutes are trustworthy. They make me wise. Eight minute marker. Wrap up. Let all that you do be done in love. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. So now faith, hope, and love abide. These three. But the greatest of these is love. Greater love hath no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God. And whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. I will not fear because God is with me. My God strengthens me and helps me. By his stripes I am healed. I am the light of the world. I am delivered from the power of darkness. I am a new creature in Christ Jesus. I walk by faith and not by sight. The Spirit of God dwells within me.